Anneham Shivara Shiyatha Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivashikam Vitam Sha Om Ajnana Timarandasya Yanajana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gaurave Nama Gaurva Bhistam Supurakam Gaurganarya Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Abhidam Ujvalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Vitam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyad Bhagavat Premno Ibija Pradam Devam divya tanyum suchanda varanam balarka chelanchitam sandrananda puram sadeka varanam vairagya vidyam burim shri sadanta nidhim subhakti lasitam saraswatanam varam mandetam shubaram mareka sharanam nyashishwara shidaram vansha kopatarubhyasya kripa sindhu bhyavacha patitanam pavenibhyo vaishnave bhyonamonama Namo Mahamaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gauratavise Nama So reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada This is Madhya Leela, Chapter 20 The Lord Instructs Srila Sanatana Goswami This is verse number 344 Kaler dosha nide rajan asti yego mahan guna kirtana deva krishnasya mukta bandha param vrajet. My dear king, although Kali Yuga is full of faults, there is still one good quality about this age. It is that simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Ma mantra, one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. Kritiya dhyayato vishnum, tritayam yajato makai, dwapare paricharyayam kalotadari kirtanat. Whatever result was obtained in Satya Yuga by meditating on Vishnu, in Treta Yuga by performing sacrifices, and in Dwarpara Yuga by serving the Lord's lotus feet, can also be obtained in Kali Yuga simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. This verse is quoted from the Srimad Bhagavatam. At the present moment in Kali Yuga, there are many false meditators who concoct some imaginary form and try to meditate upon it. It has become fashionable to meditate, but people know nothing about the object of meditation. That is explained here. Yadhyayato Vishnu. One has to meditate upon Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna, without referring to the Shastras, so-called meditators aim at impersonal objects. Lord Krishna has condemned them in the Bhagavad Gita. Klesho digata rastesham avyakta shakta shedasam avyakta i gatir dukam deha vadbir avapyate. For those whose minds are attached to the unmanifested, impersonal feature of the Supreme, advancement is very troublesome. To make progress in that discipline is always difficult for those who are embodied. Not knowing how to meditate, foolish people simply suffer, and there is no benefit derived from their spiritual activities. The same idea expressed in this verse from Srimad Bhagavatam can be found in the following verse from the Vishnu Purana. Padma Purana and Brihanaradiya Purana. Jayam Grite Yajan Yajyas Tritayam Dwaparer Chayan Yad Apnoti Tad Apnoti Kalo Sankirtya Keshavam. Whatever is achieved by meditation in Satya Yuga, by the performance of Yajna in Treta Yuga, or by worship of Krishna's lotus feet in Dwarpara Yuga, is also obtained in the age of Kali, simply, simply by chanting the glories of Lord Krishna. Kalim 
Saba Jayanti Arya Gunagya Sarabhagina Yatra Sankirtanein Aiva Sarvasvarta Vilabhyate Those who are advanced and highly qualified and are interested in the essence of life know the good qualities of Kali Yuga. Such people worship the age of Kali because in this age one can advance in spiritual knowledge and attain life's goal simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Purvavat liki jabe gunavataragan asankyas sankyatara nahoy ganan As stated before, when I describe the incarnation of the material modes, gunavatars, one should consider that these incarnations also are unlimited and that no one can count them. Chari yuga batare eta ganan shuni bangi koritari puche sanatan. Thus I have given a description of the incarnations of the four different yugas. After hearing of all this, Sanatana Goswami gave an indirect hint to the Lord. Raja Mantri Sanatana Bhuja Brihaspati Prabhur Kripate Puche Asankocha Mati Sanatana Goswami had been a minister under Nawab Hussein Shah and he was un undoubtedly as intelligent as Brihaspati, the chief priest of the heavenly kingdom. Due to the Lord's unlimited mercy, Sanatana Goswami questioned him without hesitation. Ati kudra jiva mui nicha char kemone janiva kalite kon avatar. Sanatana Goswami said, I'm a very insignificant living entity. I am low and poorly behaved. How can I understand who is the incarnation for this age of Kali? This verse is very important in reference to the incarnations of God. At present, there are especially many rascals prevalent in India who proclaim themselves incarnations of God or goddesses. Thus, they are uh, fooling and bluffing fool foolish people. On behalf of the general populace, Sanatana Goswami presented himself as a foolish, low-born, poorly behaved person, although he was a most exalted personality. Inferior people cannot accept the real God, yet they are very eager to accept an imitation of God who can simply bluff foolish people. All this is going on in this age of Kali. To guide these foolish people, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu answers the question as follows. Prabhu Kohe Anyabhatara Shastra Dwarejani Kalite avatara taiche shastra bhakti mani. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, As in other ages, an incarnation is accepted according to the directions of the shastras. In this age of Kali, an incarnation of God should be accepted in that way. According to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is the way an incarnation should be accepted. Srila Naratam Dasakur says, Saru Shastra Guru Bhakya Chiteti Chitete Koriya Aikya. One should accept a thing as genuine by studying the words of saintly persons, the spiritual master, and the Shastra. The actual center is the Shastra, the revealed scripture. If a spiritual master, if a spiritual master does not speak according to the revealed scripture, he is not to be accepted. Similarly, if a saintly person does not speak according uh, to the Shastra, he is not a saintly person. The Shastra is the center for all. Unfortunately, at the present moment, People do not refer to the Shastras. Therefore, they accept rascals as incarnations, and consequently, they have made incarnations into a very cheap thing. Intelligent people uh, who follow Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instructions and the instructions of the Acharya, the bona fide spiritual master, will not accept a, pretend, a pretender as an incarnation of God. In Kali Yuga, the only incarnation 
Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Imitation incarnations take advantage of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Lord appeared within the past 500 years, played as the son of a Brahmin from Nadia, and introduced the Sankirtan movement. Imitating Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and ignoring the Shastra, rascals pre present themselves as incarnations and introduce their rascaldom as a religious process. As we have repeatedly said, religion can be given only by the Supreme Personality of God. From the discussions in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, we can understand that in different ages, the Supreme Lord introduces different systems and different religious duties. In this age of Kali, the only incarnation of Krishna is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he introduced the religious duty of Kali Yuga, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sarvagya, Munir, Bhakya, Shastra, Paraman, Amas, Sabajivar, Hoy, Shastra, Dwaragyan. The Vedic literature is composed by the omniscient Mahamuni Vyasadeva, are evidence of all spiritual existence only through these revealed scriptures can all conditioned souls attain knowledge. Avatara nahi kohe ami avatar muni sab lani kori lakana bijar. An actual incarnation of God never says, I am God, or I am an incarnation of God. The great sage Vyasadeva, knowing all, knowing all, has already recorded the has already recorded the characteristics of the avatars in the shastras. An incarnation of God never says, "I am God" or "I am an incarnation of God." The great sage Vyasadeva, knowing all, has already recorded the characteristics of the avatars in the shastras. Yashavatarang gayante shariresh vasharirina. Taistar atulyati shayar viryar dehishva sangatai. The Lord does not have a material body, yet he descends among human beings in his transcendental body as an incarnation. Therefore, it is very difficult for us to understand who is an incarnation. Only by his extraordinary prowess and uncommon activities, which are impossible for embodied living entities can one partially understand the incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Swarup lakanara tatashta lakan edui lakane bastu jani munigan. By two symptoms, personal characteristics and marginal, marginal characteristics, the great sages can understand an object. Akriti prakriti swarup swarup lakan karya dwara jnana e tatasta lakan bodily features nature and form are the personal characteristics knowledge of his activities provides the marginal characteristics so both things are there swarup and lakan Swarup Lakan, pardon me, Swarup Lakan, personal features, and Tatasta Lakan. Swarup Lakan, personal features. Tatasta Lakan. Marginal symptoms means the activities performed. What are the activities? What does that person do? So, Swarup Lakan has personal features, the, the personal features and description in the Shastra of who or how the Supreme Person of Personality of God will appear, what are his personal characteristics, and Tatasta Lakan, what are his activities, marginal characteristics. Bhagavata Rambe Vyasa Mangala Charane Parameshwara Nirupila Edui Lakane In the auspicious invocation at the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, Srila Vyasadeva has described the Supreme Personality of Godhead by these symptoms. Janmadiyasya yatonvayad itaratas 
चर्ते स्वभिज्ञ स्वरात थने ब्रह्म हृदय अधिकवय मूयती यूरय तेजो वरी मृद यत विनिम यत्री सर्गो मृष दम न स्वेन सदा नीरस्त कुहक सत्यम भरम धीमह O my Lord Shri Krishna son of Vasudeva O all pervading personality of God I offer my respectful obeisances unto you I meditate upon Lord Shri Krishna because he is the absolute truth and the primeval cause of all causes of the creation sustenance and destruction of the material of the manifested universes he is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations and he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him it is only he who first imparted the vedic knowledge unto the heart of brahmaji the original living being by him even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion as one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen in fire or land seen on water only because of him do the material universes temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature appear factual although they are unreal i therefore meditate upon him lord shri krishna who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode which is forever free from the illusory representations in the material world i meditate upon him for he is the absolute truth ए श्लोके परम शब्दे कृष्ण निरूपान सत्यम शब्दे को हे थर स्वरूप लखन सो दैट वर्स इज द फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ द श्रीमद् भागवतम ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंटो सो ए श्लोके परम शब्दे कृष्ण निरूपान सत्यम शब्दे को हे थर स्वरूप लखन इन दिस इंग वोकेशन फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम द वर्ड परम इंडिकेट्स लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड and the word satyam indicates his personal characteristics vishva srishti adikoila vira brahma ke padala arta vigyata swarup shakti maya dura koila in that same verse it is stated that that the lord is the creator maintainer and annihilator of the cosmic manifestation and that he enabled lord brahma to create the universe by infusing him with the knowledge of the vedas it is also stated that the lord has full knowledge directly and indirectly that he knows past present and future and that his personal energy is separated is separate from maya the illusory energy a sab karya tara tatastalakan anyavatarai che jani munigan all these activities are his marginal characteristics great saintly persons understand the incarnations of the supreme personality of god by the indications of the two characteristics known as swarup and tatasta swarup lakan and tatasta lakan so all the incarnations of krishna should be understood in this way all these activities are his marginal characteristics great saintly persons understand the incarnations of the supreme personality of god it by the indications of the two characteristics known as swarup and tatasta all the incarnations of krishna should be understood in this way avatar kale hoy jagate gochar e duve lakane ke ho janaye ishwar at the time of their appearance the incarnations of the lord are known in the world because people can consult the shastras to understand an incarnation's chief characteristics known as swarupa and tatasta in this way the incarnations become known to great saintly persons my swarup and and, and tatasta sanatana kohe jate ishwara lakan 
Pita Varna, Karya, Prema, Dana, Sankirtan. Sanatana Goswami said, the color of the personality in whom the characteristics of the Lord are found is yellowish. His activities include the distribution of love of Godhead and the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Kali Kali say Krishna Vataran is joy, Sudrita Koriya Kaha Joka Samshai. The incarnation of Krishna for this age is indicated by these symptoms. Please confirm this definitely so that all my doubts will go away. Sanatana Goswami wanted to confirm the fact that Chaitanya, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the incarnation of Krishna for this age. According to the Shastra and Kali Yuga, the Lord would assume a golden or yellow color and would distribute love of Krishna and the Sankirtan movement. In accordance with the Shastra and saintly persons, these characteristics were vividly displayed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it was therefore clear that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu oops, was... And it was therefore clear that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was an incarnation of Krishna. He was confirmed by the Shastras and his characteristics were accepted by saintly people. Since Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could not escape Sanatana Goswami's argument, he remained silent on this point and thereby indirectly accepted Sanatana's statement. By this we can clearly understand that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was the direct incarnation of Lord Krishna. Sanatana Goswami wanted to confirm the fact that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the incarnation of Krishna for this age. Because Sanatana Goswami says, the incarnation of Krishna for this age is indicated by, uh, by these symptoms. Please confirm this definitely so that all my doubts will go away. He, Sanatana Goswami said, the color of the personality in whom the characteristics of the Lord are found is yellowish. That's his personal characteristics. In Kali Yuga, the incarnation or the presence of the Lord, he is, has a yellowish body. His activities include the distribution of love of God and the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So that's the Swarup and Lakan, the, the personal characteristics and the activities or marginal characteristics. Kali Kali Se Krishna Vatara Nishchai Sudrina Koriya Kaha Joka Samshai. The incarnation of Krishna for this age is indicated by these symptoms. Please confirm this definitely so that all my doubts will go away. Okay. Prabhu Kohe Chatur Ali Chara Sanatan Shaktyave Shavatara Shuna Vivaran. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, Oh, Sanatan, you must give up your intelligent tricks. Now just try to understand the description of the Shakya Vaishavatar. So the Lord's concluding his description of the uh, different Yuga avatars. And Sanatana Goswami is asking Mahaprabhu to confirm the, qual the characteristics of the incarnation for Kali Yuga. And Mahaprabhu does so by referring to Swarup Lakan and Tatasta Lakan. The personal characteristics of the incarnation for this age and also the Tatasta Lakan, his activities, the marginal characters, what he does. So personal characteristics appears in a golden yellowish body and that's confirmed to be the color of Mahaprabhu and that his activities of the, the activities of the incarnation for the Kali Yuga is that he generously distributes the Sankirtan uh, move, Sankirtan mission, the Sankirtan movement. His activities include the distribution of love of Godhead and the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then replied, O Sanatan, you must give up your intelligent tricks. Now just try to understand the description 
of the Shakya Veshavatars. Shakya Veshavatar, Krishna, Asankya Ganan, Digdarshan, Kori, Mukya, Mukya Jan. There are unlimited Shakya Veshavatars of Lord Krishna. Let me describe the chief among them. Shakya Vesh Duiru Mukya Gona Deki Sakat Shakya Avatar Avase Vibhuti Liki. Empowered incarnations are of two types, primary and secondary. The primary ones are directly empowered by the Supreme Personality of Godhead and are, and, and are called incarnations. The secondary ones are indirectly powered by the Supreme Personality of God and are called Vibhuti. Sanakadi, Narada, Prithu, Parasaram, Jivarupa, Brahmara, Aveshavataranam. Some Shakya Veshavatars are the four Kumaras, Narada, Maharaj, Prithu, and Parasaram. When a, living, when a living being is empowered to act as Lord Brahma, he is also considered a Shakya Veshavatar. Some Shakya Veshavatars are the four Kumaras, Narada, Maharaj, Prithu, and Parsaram. When a living being is empowered to act as Lord Brahma, he is also considered a Shakya Veshavatar. Vaikunte Sesha Dara Dharaya Yananda and Mukya Veshavatara Vistare Nahi Anda. Lord Sesha in the spiritual world of Vaikuntha and in the material world, Lord Ananta, who carries innumerable planets on his hoods, are two primary empowered incarnations. There is no need to count the others, for they are unlimited. Lord Sesha in the spiritual world of Vaikuntha and in the material world, Lord Ananta, who carries innumerable planets on his hoods, are two primary empowered incarnations. There is no need to count the others, for they are unlimited. Sanakadye jnana shakti narade shakti bhakti brahmaya srishti shakti anante bhu dharana shakti The power of knowledge was invested in the four kumaras and the power of devotional service was invested in Narada. The power of creation was invested in Lord Brahma and the power to carry innumerable planets was invested in Lord Ananda. The power of knowledge was invested in the four Kumaras and the power of devotional service was invested in Narada. The power of creation was invested in Lord Brahma and the power to carry innumerable planets was invested in Lord Ananta. Seshe Sva Sevana Shakti Prithu Te Palan Parasurame Dushtan Nashak Virya Sancharan the Supreme Personality of God had invested the power of personal service in Lord Sesha. And he invested the power to rule the earth in King Prithu. Lord Parsaram received the power to kill rogues and miscreants. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Parichanaya Sarunam Vinashaya Chaduskritam. Sometimes the Lord invests his power to rule in the to rule in a ki king like Prithu and enables such a king to kill rogues and miscreants. He also invests his power in incarnations like Parsara. Jnana Shakti Adi Kalaya Yatra Vishto Janardana Ta'avesha Nigadyante Jiva Eva Mahatama 
Whenever the Lord is present in someone by portions of his various potencies, the living entity representing the Lord is called the Shakya Avatar. That is an incarnation invested with special power. Vibhuti kohiye jaiji gite kadashe jagat vyapila krishna shakya abha abha sa sabeshe Vibhuti kohiye jaiji gite kadashe jagat vyapila krishna shakti abha sabeshe as explained in the 11th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has spread himself all over the universe in many personalities through specific powers known as vibhuti. Yajyad vibhuti mat sattvam srimad orjitam eva va tattad eva vagacha tvam mama tejom sambhavam. Know that all opulent, beautiful, and glorious creations spring from but a spark of my splendor. Atava bahunaitena kimgyatena tavarjuna vistabhyaham midam kritsnam ekam shena stito jagat. But what need is there, Arjuna, for all this detailed knowledge? With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support this entire universe. Eta kohilon shakya avatar bhaya poganda dharmera shunaha vichar. Thus I have explained specifically empowered incarnations. Now please hear about the characteristics of Lord Krishna's childhood, boyhood, and youth. Kishora shekara dharmi brajendra nandan Prakata lila koribare jabe koriman. As the son of Maharaj Nanda, Lord Krishna is by nature the paragon of Kishora youth. He chooses to exhibit his pastimes at that age. Aro prakata karaya mata pita bhaktagane pache prakata hoi janmadika lila krame. Before his personal appearance, the Lord causes some of his devotees to appear as his mother, father, and intimate associates. He then appears later as if he were taking birth and growing from a baby to a child and gradually into a youth. Vayaso vividatve pi sarva bhakti rasasraya dharmi kishora evatra Nitya Lila Vilasavan. The Supreme Personality of God is eternally enjoying Himself, and He is the shelter of all kinds of devotional service. Although His ages are various, His age known as Kishore, pre youth, is best of all. So, Krishna is a youth that is His divine age that He shows here in this earth. Patana Vabadi Jata Lila Kane Kane Sabalila Nitya Prakata Kori Anukrame. When Lord Krishna appears, from moment to moment he exhibits his different pastimes, beginning with the killing of Putana. All these pastimes are eternally being demonstrated one after another. When Lord Krishna appears from moment to moment, he exhibits his different pastimes, beginning with the killing of Putana. All these pastimes are eternally being demonstrated one after another. Ananta Brahmanda Tara Nahika Ganan, Kon Lila Kon Brahmande Hoi Prakatan. Is Nilamani still here? Okay. 
I'll, I'll ask her. Because I don't know if she's, if she's got clean cloth, I'll ask her. Ella va a poner la ofrenda. Tú la puedes sacar en 20 minutos? Sí, okay. Ananda Brahmanda Tara Nahika Ganan Kon Lila Kon Brahmande Hoy Prakatan. The consecutive pastimes of Krishna are being manifest in one of the innumerable universes moment after moment. There is no possibility of counting the universes, but in any case, some pastime of the Lord is being manifested at every moment in one universe or another. Emata sab lila jena gangadhar se se lila prakata kori brajendra kumar Thus the Lord's pastimes are like the flowing Ganges water. In this way all the pastimes are manifested by the son of Nanda Maharaj. Krame Bhaya Poganda Kaishorata Prapti Rasa Adi Lila Kori Kaishore Nityastiti. Lord Krishna exhibits his pastimes of childhood, boyhood, and pre youth. When he reaches pre-youth, he continues to exist eternally to perform his rasa dance and other pastimes. So it's a, that position of youth when he's showing the rasa dance and other pastimes. He's existing eternally to perform his rasa dance and other pastimes. So that is especially divine age of the Lord. Nitya Lila Krishnera Sarva Shastri Koi Bujitena Pari Lila Kemone Nitya Hoi Descriptions of Krishna's eternal pastimes are in all the revealed scriptures, but one cannot understand how they are continuing eternally. Tristanta Diya Kohe Tabe Loka Jadi Jane Krishna Lila Nitya Jyotis Chakra Pramane. Let me give an example by which people may understand Lord Krishna's eternal pastimes. An example can be found in the zodiac. Jyotis Chakra Surya Jena Fire Ratri Dine Sapta Dvipam Budi Langi Fire Krame Krame. The sun moves across the zodiac one day and night and crosses the oceans between the seven islands one after the other. Ratri Dine Hoi, Shasti Danda Pariman, Teen Sahasra Chaya, Shata Balataranman, according to Vedic astronomical calculations. The rotation of the sun consists of 60 dandas, and it is divided into 3,600 palas. Suryodesh hoite shasti palag kramodoy se ek danda ashta dande prahara hoy. The sun rises in steps consisting of 60 palas. 60 palas equal one danda. And eight dandas comprise one prahar. These are units of time. Ek dui tin chare prahare ashta hoy, chare prahar ratri gele, puna surya doi. The day and night are divided into eight praharas, four belonging to the day and four belonging to the night. After eight praharas, the sun rises again. Aiche Krishnara Lila Mandala Choda Manvantare Pramanda Mandala Vyape Krame Krame Fire. Just as there is an orbit of the sun, there is an orbit of Krishna's pastimes, which are manifested one after the other. During the lifetime of 14 Manus, this orbit expands through all the universes and gradually it returns. Thus, Krishna moves with his pastimes through all the universes, one after another. Hmm. 
छायो यशत भत्सर कृष्णर प्रकट प्रकाश तहा जाय छे ब्रजपुरी कोरिला विलास कृष्णा रिमेन्स विद इन अ यूनिवर्स फॉर 125 इयर्स एंड ही एन्जॉयज हिज पास्ट टाइम्स बोथ इन वृंदावन एंड द्वारका अलात चक्र प्राय से लीला चक्र फिरे सब लीला सब ब्रह्मांड क्रमे उदय करे The cycle of his pastimes turns like a wheel of fire. Thus, Krishna exhibits his pastimes one after the other in every universe. Janma Baya Poganda Kaishora Prakash Patana Varad Varadi Kori Ma Ma. मोशलांत विलास जन्म बाह्य पौगा कैशोर प्रकाश पूतन वधारी कोरी मोशलांत विलास कृष्णस पास टाइम्स अपीरेंस चाइल्डहुड बॉयहुड इन यूथ आर ऑल मैनिफेस्टेड बिगिनिंग विद द किलिंग ऑफ पूतन एंड एक्सटेंडिंग टू द एंड ऑफ द मोशाल लीला द एनाइलेशन ऑफ द यारु डायनेस्टी ऑल All of these pastimes are rotating in every universe. Kon Brahmande kon lila rohoy abastan tate lila nitya kohe agama purana. Since all Krishna's pastimes are taking place continuously, at every moment some pastime is existing in one universe or another. Consequently, these passes. these pastimes consequently these pastimes are called eternal by the vedas and puranas since all krishna's pastimes are taking place continuously at every moment some pastime is existing in one universe or another consequently these pastimes are called eternal by the vedas and puranas goloka gokula dam vibhu krishna krishna sam कृष्णेच्छा ब्रह्मांडगाने तहरसंग्राम गोलोकोकुलदाम विभु कृष्णसाम कृष्णेच्छा ब्रह्मांडगाने तहर संग्राम द स्पिरिचुअल बोध नोट इज गोलोक विच इज अ पैस्टरिंग लैंड फॉर सूरबी कैल्स इज इज पावरफुल एन ऑपुलेन इज कृष्ण by the will of krishna the original goloka and gokula dhamas are manifested with him in all the universes ateva goloka stane nitya vihar brahmanda gane krame prakatya tahar the eternal pastimes of krishna are eternal are continuously taking place in the original goloka vrindavan planet these same pastimes are gradually manifested within the material world in each and every brahmanda braje krishna sarvashvaya prakashe purnatam पूरी पर्व्यों में पूर्णतार पूर्ण कृष्ण इज कम्प्लीट इन द स्पिरिचुअल स्काय वैकुंत ही इज मोर कम्प्लीट इन मथुर एंड द्वारका एंड ही इज मोस्ट कम्प्लीट इन वृंदावन ब्राज इन वृंदावन ब्राज है ड्यू टू इज मैनिफेस्टिंग ऑल इज ऑपुलेंस हरि पूर्णतमा पूर्ण थार पूर्ण श्रेष्ठ मध्यादि बीस शब्द नाट्य परिपाट दिस इज स्टेड इन द ड्रामेटिक लिटरेचर इज परफेक्ट मोर परफेक्ट एंड मोस्ट परफेक्ट दस लॉर्ड कृष्ण मैनिफेस्ट हिमसेल्फ इन थ्री वेज परफेक्ट मोर परफेक्ट एंड मोस्ट परफेक्ट प्रकाशिता किल गुना स्मृत पूर्णतमो बुरा 
as asarva punya punya um, asarva vyang vyanjaka purna tarapurno pa darshaka prakashita kila guna smrita purnatamo budai asarva vyanjaka purna tarapurno pa darshaka when the Supreme Personality of Godhead does not manifest all his transcendental qualities, he is called complete. When all the qualities are manifested but not fully, he is called more complete. When he manifests all his qualities in fullness, he is called most complete. This is the version of all learned, learned scholars in, uh, in the devotional science. This is the version of all learned scholars in the devotional science. When the Supreme Personality of Godhead does not manifest all his transcendental qualities, he is called complete. When all the qualities are manifested but not fully, he is called more complete. When he manifests all his qualities in fullness, he is called most complete. This is the, ver the version of all learned scholars in the devotional science. In the devotional science. Krishna Shya Purnatamat. Krishna Shya Purnatamata. Krishna Sha Purnatamata Vyata Bud Gokulandare Purnata Purnatarata Dwaraka Maturadishu. The most complete qualities of Krishna are manifested within Vrindavan, and his complete and more complete qualities are manifested in Dwarka and Mathura. The most complete qualities of Krishna are manifested within Vrindavan, and his complete and more complete qualities are manifested in, in Dwarka and Mathura. A Krishna Braje Purnatama Bhagavan Arasab Swarupa Purnatara Purnanam. Lord Krishna is the most complete Supreme Personality of Godhead in Vrindavan. Elsewhere, all his expansions are either complete or more complete, but most complete, that will be Krishna in Vrindavan. Sankepi Kohilun Krishnera Swarupa Vichar Ananda Kohite Nare Ihara Bistar. Thus I have briefly described Krishna's manifestation of transcendental forms. This subject matter is so large that even Lord Ananda cannot describe it fully. Ananda Swarup. Krishna Nahika Gaman, Shakya Chandra, Chandra Nyaye, Kori Darshan. In this way, Krishna's transcendental forms are expanded unlimitedly. No one can count them. Whatever I have explained is simply a little glimpse. It is like showing the moon through the branches of a tree. Ihaje Shune Pade Se Bhagavan Krishna. Krishna Swarup Tatvar Hoi Kichu Gyan. Whoever hears or recites these descriptions of the expansions of Krishna's body is certainly a very fortunate man. Although this is very difficult to understand, one can nonetheless acquire some knowledge about the different features of Krishna's bodies of Krishna's body. Whoever hears or recites this description of the expansions of Krishna, Krishna's body is certainly a very fortunate man. Although this is very difficult to understand, one can, never, one can nonetheless acquire some knowledge about the different features of Krishna's body. Sri Rupa Raghunath Padijara As Chaitanya Charitamrita Kohe Krishna Das. Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath Always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya, Charitya, Ch Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila uh, 20th chapter describing how Sanatana Goswami met the Lord at Varanasi and received knowledge of the Absolute Truth. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama 
Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan Gopa Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan Giridari Gopinata Manana Mohan Giridari Gopinata Manana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Gadadana Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Gadadana Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raghunath Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raghunath Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Jaoite Vigna Nasha Bista Puran Jaoite Vigna Nasha Bista Puran Echai Gosai Jar Mui Taradas Echai Gosai Jar Mui Taradas Tasabara Bada Renu Mora Pancha Gras Tasabara Bada Renu Mora Pancha Gras Tadev Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bas Tadev Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bas Janame Janame More Abilas Janame Janame More Abilas H.I. Gosai Jabe Braje Koyla Bas H.I. Gosai Jabe Braje Koyla Bas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majjai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majjai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koryash Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koryash Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamudas Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamudas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Nitai Gora Hare Bo, Hare Bo. Haribo, Haribo, Nita Gora Haribo, 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 Nita Gora Haribo, 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 Nita Gora Haribo, Haribo. Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari Juki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Paramahansa Paravajaka Chariyashta, Dara Sada Shishi Mad, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Paramahansa Paravajaka Charyasta, Tara Sadrasi Srimad, 
Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sanant Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Satchinananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Bhargav Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Sri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath, Sad Goswami Prabhu Gijai, Premzi Gosh, Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadan Harshivasadi, Sri Harshivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Kijai, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Kijai, Srila Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad Ki Jai, Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vishvavarenya, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai, Ananda Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Madhacharya Vrinda Ki Jai, Sri Nabadeep Dham Ki Jai, Sri Namayapur Ki Jai, Saparshada Sri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshada Sri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai, Sri Kaladvip Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Sri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Sham Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Jiu Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankritan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Boh